Yes, but you want it. You have to say nicely. You bought me a present, my darling. That was very kind of you. Bought me a present? <coughs> that was very kind of you. <laughs> my darling. My darling. <laughs> Secrets out, you'd have me there on that bed right now. Right. Are you gonna write? You're gonna write what I tell you, right? You're gonna write exactly what I tell you to write. I believe you. 
I'm a friend, don't you see? I, I can never do anything to hurt you. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Well, and, uh, I have some news for you. I just have a long meeting with the managing director of the Compagnie de Risk, and I'm happy to say that your husband will not be <laughs> The matter is settled. You may return to La Havre and set your mind at rest. Oh, monsieur. I am so grateful to you. Please, sir. I'm glad to be of service. But, madame, please remember the file is still here and can be reopened again at any sign of trouble. Don't worry, Monsieur. We will be angels. Jack, I made it. It's all going to be fine. Things are going to be great. Just drive me home safely. She gets into the cab. Once more, the engine labors forward, gathering speed. Pounding through the countryside, jack at the controls, absorbed, gliding the beat. Spotlight on the silent, vengeful figure of floor, watching as the train goes by. You and Madame Rubo can have a little chat while she makes the tea. Sure, she'll like that. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's... I'm sorry. You can leave him. Just leave him. I love you, it's that simple. Just leave him. No, I don't want that. We'll be friends, yes. I, don't, I, just, I just want to be friends, Jack. Is that all right with you? Found out what he'd done. Had to kill him. Couldn't draw breath as long as he was living. Had to kill him. And that would be it, that'll be it done. But now. All things are certain now. We'll always be together, you and me. We're both guilty. Can't change that. I'm going this one. Feel a minute? Yeah, poor girl, she worships me. What about you? You going back for a kick? Yeah, I suppose so. Damn, this fucking rain. Well, you had something on yourself, did you? No, what do you mean? Oh, come on. You've been out till two or three in the morning every night, haven't you? I get headaches. They always me to walk around and get fresh yeah. headaches. You're a free man, you know? Get your pleasures while you can, I say. Right, I'm gonna make a run for it. It's still ringing. It's almost late. We should go. It was the first time for me. That was the first time. sunrise in the morning. So you're out of it then. Rest in your peace. He'll be by in the morning. Driving his engine and she'll be sitting in the first carriage so as to be near him. Wearing a pretty little hat. A delicate and refined. And he won't see me. He'll never see me. by at 8.16 and it's all over. I don't know why, but this feeling of danger it feels like there's something threatening me. I can't tell what it is, I just, I just feel it's there. There's nothing to be frightened of. But why am I afraid? You mustn't be afraid. 
Uncertain, almost bewildered. 